Hey guys, we just arrived to Jerry's, my husband and I. Hello. Say hi, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> we got here for the Pentel brush pen class, and hopefully I can film a little bit in there. And I gotta finish my Starbucks before we go in. Okay, see you soon. just gotten out of the class. Josh is driving while I'm like here. And I wanted to save our discussion about it until we were in the car. So he just said something really funny. Tell, tell everyone what you said. It, he used chiaroscuro. The, the guy who used a lot of black to make the whites more prominent. And that's, that's chiaroscuro. So I thought that was really funny because I remember Michelle, do you remember Michelle Fawn? Yes. She came out with the chiaroscuro stick for the, Same. do you remember it was like this breakthrough product back in like 2011 or something? I don't know, it was like one of M Cosmetics, like most prominent items. I don't think she has it anymore. This class was a different style than the other class. This class, Pentel brought in an artist, his name's Christian, I'll put his information uh, where you can see it because he gave us his information at the end. Uh, he did a demonstration using the products that they had, right? The the pigments in the watercolor brushes, right? It was a combination of sign pens and uh, pigmented sign pens. And they're water soluble, so you could use a water brush pen to uh, spread the pigment around. He painted a leopard or cheetah? Probably we leopard. never found out what uh, it was. Probably a leopard. Cheetahs are... Dinner. And this was the second class he held today. The first class he held got booked up when we signed up, when I found out about it from the first class. So that one was already booked up. And this one wasn't that crowded, right? It wasn't booked, but a lot of people were really good about participating and asking questions, mm -hmm. and it was good. Uh, we had a mix of artists and non-artists, so that was great. We talked about Inktober. You explained Inktober to the class. Yeah, I felt pretty cool because I do explain it to my class because they're middle schoolers and they've never heard of Inktober and for like an artist that's getting more used to actually drawing and everything, Inktober is really great. It's a great way to put your work out there. I actually have a friend, Andrew, who did Inktober properly. Did you see his work on Twitter? Or Andrew. Yes. Yeah, yeah he, he did a drawing a day every day in October using ink. So he did it the way that Jake Parker intended it to be done. And it was great. I loved seeing it. And it didn't, it, it varied from like smaller pieces to like bigger uh, works. So it, I think it's a really valuable experience to be able to draw something every day and have that emphasis of it doesn't need to be a finished product every time. It was, we got to see the artist work more. And the first artist that held the acrylic gouache paint um, class, she didn't draw as much. Uh, she more demonstrated the product, which was real, which was valuable in its own way too. And I enjoyed seeing the artist actually use what Pentel was showing us, right? Mm -hmm. And we actually bought like we bought a whole bunch of stuff, and I like ruined my shirt. I should have worn something that. I knew it was gonna get dirty. I feel silly about it, but. Well, I mean, it wasn't clear that they were gonna be using like water to. Um, yeah, we went into it. Treatment. Yeah, Josh and I were discussing it before we went in. We went into it thinking it was brush pen as um, like felt tip pens yeah. and for illustration and stuff. And we didn't 
we did, we actually did not expect what we saw today, but it was it was really great. I really liked seeing how the artists worked with the material. Anything else you want to say about the class? Um, I thought it was like it was a lot. It was different from what I expected. It was a lot more about like using the water to with the brush pen. It, it ended up being like watercolor marker. That, that's what it was. It felt like it was more about and using <laughs> using blacks. Like normally with brush pens, I associate that with a lot of different colors. And this was more focusing on like uh, different shades of black, going from like um, like the monochrome, like black, gray, white. And yeah, that, that was different. I wasn't. That was different from what I was expecting, but I thought it was. Uh, that was interesting. Yeah, uh, like, yeah, we like we said, it was different than what we thought it was going to be. We actually went in with a much different expectation, but part of the fun is is learning all that stuff and how artists who are experienced in their methods can show us how they work. I don't think many people get a chance to see that. Like, I remember when we were in Paris, we would see the artists station themselves with their canvases in front of pieces of work and people would gather around them and they would watch them work and paint like it's just things like that that you wouldn't you just don't see like i don't think we really see that much here so yeah it was really fun okay so i'll catch up with you guys later i'll share our haul and what we bought and yeah so it's been actually a while since we filmed in the car cc is trying to sleep so I'm gonna try to keep it down a little bit. And I wanted to share with you our haul from today. So first of all, for taking the class, we got two free art boards from Canson. So one is, well, we got one free art board. One is mine and one is Josh's. And you also got this sign pen variety pack. Okay, you get the brush tip, you get a fine tip, and the one that I'm most excited about that you can only get in this variety pack right now is the Brush Sign Pen Artist, which is this one over here. In the footage of Christian drawing, you actually saw the colors that are gonna come out with it. They only have the black one right now. Uh, I'm gonna share Josh's haul first. He also got some of these. He wanted to buy some charcoal to try out. But, yeah, this is my sample set. And, but Josh, Josh also got this Primo Euro Blend. He wanted charcoal uh, colored pencils. It's a pencil kit, so he doesn't have to worry about getting messy with his hands. And then he got a pastel sketch pad from Canson. Each page has like a translucent paper to it. I don't know, I really don't work with pastels at all, so he knows. He wants to try it out, so that's really fun. Let's see, did he get any of these? I believe he got a Derwent charcoal pencil. I'm gonna give him all these. Uh, the graphite drawing, a 9H pencil. Uh, the artist explained to us that in order to make sure that kind of charcoal line, well, the lead line that we see from a pencil for it not to show underneath when we're using ink, uh, to try a different hardness for the pencil, which is a really great idea. I never thought of doing that. Okay, so that's all for Josh's stuff. He didn't get a lot, but I'm really happy he got stuff. Like I said, I, one of the best parts about having a class in an art shop is you can go shopping for the artist tools later, like after, and that's what I did. So, what I got here, uh, I think, the one that I'm really excited about is I found this pastel Le Pen set, which I love anything pastel colors. So Le Pen, I have really fallen in love. Where's mine? I got a five pack of Le Pen pens, this one, um, a while ago. Focus, there you go. I got them a while ago and I only started using them and I, I really love them for writing a lot. I keep one in my pencil case for just taking around and now I have this pastel set which I think I'm just gonna keep in its case they're really really pretty and if you get a chance you really should try them out and then I also got oh wait no this is Josh's yeah he said this is the one he bought 
that also came in the sample set, but he wants to have one on his own. I went and I got these. They are the Pentel Hybrid Technicas. I really loved how the point three works. I mean, let me see. My favorite for inking and for drawing without a sketch is the Pilot G-Tech C4s. I uh, got this on the recommendation of Fran and I really loved them a lot. Josh got me like this Monster 25 pack for Christmas like a couple of years ago and I use them all the time. But these are really cool. I really like uh, the fineness of them and I actually got them in a variety of sizes. So I got the 03, the 04, the 05, the 06, and funnily enough, the 08. I didn't see an 07. And the amount of ink in them was actually a factor as to why I got um, not a pack because there's a pack that came with all of them but if you took a look at the ink amounts in each pen for the pack uh, they were significantly different than the ones that came single and I think the price really didn't work out too too bad so I just they were about the same so I just got the single ones with what looked like more more ink. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe it doesn't matter, but that's what I got. And then a white Pit Artist Pen Brush. I think these are new. I got it in the, I got it in the brush and I haven't tried it yet. I wonder if it's any good. Like I said, I think I've said in the past, I haven't had, okay. It looks it looks really nice actually. Um, well, it's not as um, opaque, I guess. So can you see it there? That's what I drew right there. Uh, it's not as opaque as the Signa one, the one that I bought the last time I was at Jerry's. Oh my God, my hair's a mess. Uh, but it, this is really good for details on um, like hair, especially the brush one, because of the precision for it. And this one's just called White 101. I didn't get a chance to try it in the store, but it looks nice. It's Again, it's not as opaque as the Signa one. Yeah, I'll show you again. Okay, so this one is the Signa, the really opaque one. And then this uh, more translucent one is the Faber-Castell. So be aware of that. So, I mean, it depends on the kind of technique you want, right? So if you want it, much more opaque, which I'm the kind of person that does, than the Signa one, which is this one, is definitely gonna, Signo, sorry. <laughs> then the Signo one is definitely gonna be what you wanna go for. And again, that's the Faber-Castell white pen brush. And then I guess the bigger product that I got, I didn't know this existed, it was definitely an impulse buy. All of this kind of was, I did not go in there with an intent to buy anything. This is the Koi Watercolors CAC, the Creative Art Colors. I've never, I have a Koi watercolor palette. I have had two. Um, one is kind of untouched because I like it a lot and I only like using it for serious art projects. And this one I've never seen before. And I think Jerry's is doing like a big special on watercolors over the summer, so I didn't want to miss out. I actually got this for more than 50% off list price which is incredible, I think I got it for $25. And this comes with 24 colors. I can't see right there. It comes with 24 colors, uh, four metallic, 12 pearlescent, and eight fluorescent. So they're 24 half pans. And you see a little close up of it on the box. Well, I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. I'm gonna open it. Here's the color selection, the back of the box. Yeah. Sorry for the glare, but those are the colors. I didn't even open the box in the store, which I usually like to take a look at before. The box looks pretty much the same as the regular watercolor palette that they have, the 24 watercolor palette. On the inside, you have this for mixing colors. <laughs> wow. Okay, it's a really pretty palette. I fall for this every time for eyeshadow palettes. They're really pretty colors, but I don't know if I'm ever going to use them, like how I'm going to use them in practice. So here, 
they are. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, I see it a little better there. So that's with harsh lighting, but you can see the pearlescent ones. The fluorescent ones I'm assuming are these on this side. And the metallic ones are these four on that side and then the pearlescent ones are there you can really see the the texture and the light like these are matte i would love to see how they um swatch is it the same term i don't know and it comes with a watercolor brush that they do it's called a brush pen i guess the pentel actually sells these too and the artist christian today you'll see in the footage he used them as well uh, he used two at the same time to kind of go and blend. So that was really cool to watch. And like the other Koi watercolor palette, it comes with these little sponges on the side. I would love to see how they kind of measure up. But if you remember from the last class, I did get a medium from Liquitex that turns any color that you mix with it into a pearlescent one. So I said, oh, I never have to buy pearlescent watercolor again. And here I am. That was my haul. I usually don't go this crazy with spontaneous art purchases, but since tomorrow's my birthday, I figured, oh, I want it. Let me get it. And yeah. So, let's see, is there anything else? No, I don't think so. I have to get my work back ready. I have to do my nails. Look at them, they're awful. I have to decide if I want to do my nails tonight or tomorrow. Uh, Josh is making ramen downstairs and it's just gonna be a pretty low-key night for the rest of the night uh, We had a lot of fun. I hope that you got something out of this again Hopefully something is stirring in you to want to go and take an art class probably go with your significant other or some sort of partner or best friend and Just have a good old time. I loved going with Josh. I love being with him during like these class type things because I think he's just super smart and he teaches me a lot more afterwards and uh, than I would have gone if I had just gone on my own and I think he enjoyed it too so that was really fun. Is there anything else I want to share? Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!